In the last video, I have discussed six different properties of unitary matrices and provided proofs of those properties. In this video, I will start with the property number seven of unitary matrices. So let's start with the property number seven. Seven property states that unitary matrices make a multiplicative group. Uh, let's revise what is a multiplicative group and then see that how unitary matrices make a multiplicative group. So a multiplicative group has four different properties. Number one, it must be closed under the operation. In this case, the operation is multiplication. So it must be closed under multiplication. Number second, there must exist an identity element uh, for all the elements of the group. There must exist an inverse for each element of the group. And uh, finally, associativity. So uh, order of brackets will not matter. So let's write those properties. So we have a group G and operation multiply. So property number uh, one of the group states that uh, group G must be closed under multiplication. So it must be closed under multiplication. So it implies that if A and B are two members of group G, then A times B equals to C must also be member of group G. And this is basically a property of close under multiplication. A second property of the group is that there exists an identity element. So there exists an identity element, let's say i member of G, such that for each element a member of G, A times identity must be equals to A. So multiplying element by an identity element will not change uh, the element. Uh, third property of the uh, multiplicative group states, there must exist an inverse for every element of the group. So there must exist an inverse for each, let's say, A member of G. So inverse, uh, assume that we have an element A inverse member of G and A inverse is uh, inverse of element A then we have a times a inverse equals to identity. And the fourth and the final property states that the order of brackets does not matter. So we call this property associativity. So if a, B, C are member of group G, then uh, we can um, multiply them uh, by first multiplying uh, A with B and then multiplying the result of uh, this with C or we can also uh, first multiply B with C and then the result of uh, can be multiplied with A. So order of A, B, C uh, matters because uh, it, they might not be commutative. Uh, however, we can change the order of um, uh, parentheses as we like. So now uh, let's clear the board and see how come uh, unitary matrices fulfill all of those properties and uh, make a um, a multiplicative group. So let's first prove that uh, unitary matrices are closed under multiplication. So for closure property, 
uh, we have to show that if A and B are two unitary matrices, so are unitary matrices, then uh, A times B equals to C must also be unitary. So we know that uh, de by definition, uh, uh, u uh, conjugate transpose times u equals to identity. So this is the definition. We're going to use this definition to show that uh, unitary matrices are closed under multiplication. So in this case, we have to show that uh, if C uh, transpose conjugate times C is equals to identity or not. So in place of C, we can write A times B. So I write A times B and conjugate transpose times uh, A times B. And if this is equals to identity or not, uh, because of conjugate transpose, order of A and B will change and each matrix will be conjugate transpose separately. So I will get B conjugate transpose times A conjugate transpose uh, times A times B. And this you can see that uh, clearly equals to identity uh, because uh, this is equals to identity. So we're left with, uh, because they are unitary matrices. And uh, so we're left with the B uh, conjugate transpose times B. Uh, and obviously this is also equals to identity because B is also a unitary matrix. So we will get identity is equals to identity. Hence proving that unitary matrices are closed under uh, multiplication. Uh, secondly, uh, we have to show that for all the unit matrices, there exists a special matrix, that is identity matrix, uh, where we multiply unitary matrix with that matrix and our result uh, must be equals to the same matrix. So multiplying by identity matrix will not change the unitary matrix. So basically I have to show that uh, u times that special matrix uh, must be equals to u. So this is identity property. And that special matrix must also be unitary. And this is quite simple to prove because uh, our famous identity matrix is a unitary matrix. Because if we say identity uh, conjugate transpose time identity that our answer is equals to identity. So in this case, uh, identity matrix is nothing special but our commonly existed uh, existing identity matrix that if we multiply with a unitary matrix we get a U. Identity matrix is by itself is unitary. Uh, the property number three states that there must exist inverse of each element of the group. So inverse and the inverse element must also be member of group. So it basically states that if uh, u uh, is unitary, then u inverse must also be unitary such that uh, u times u inverse is equal to identity. So in this case, we know that uh, for every unitary matrix, inverse always exists. And inverse is a conjugate transpose of that matrix. So in this case, our uh, u inverse is equals to u conjugate transpose. So it also fulfills the third property of the group. So fourth and the final property is associativity. For associative, associativity property, we don't have to show anything because uh, matrices are in general associative. So if we have uh, unitary matrices uh, A and B and C, we can multiply A and B first, and then we can multiply our result with C. And we get the same result if we first multiply B with C, and then multiply uh, a with the result. So order of changing a parenthesis will not change the result. So that's it for this video. 
Uh, see you in the next video uh, with another property of unitary matrices.